Oh, there you are. Oh, God. Are you alright? Yeah. Mostly. I have a little bit of a headache, but otherwise fine. Oh, good. They didn't, like, do anything to you, did they? No. And I'm not gonna ask what. Uh, ow. Okay. Bright. 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 What happened? Uh, you got, um, spelled. Which, <laughs> I have seen other Thalmor do that before, and I did not want to get involved. I am so sorry, I just froze up because I was scared, and I could have stopped them, and I didn't, and I am very, very sorry. Hey, you don't have to be sorry about that. Of all the people that we expected to come through the back door, uh... Arundel was not the one. Right. That was Arundel. And Marcus is in trouble. And we've got to figure out a way to save Valerius. What's going on? I'll tell you on the way. Oh, that doesn't bode well. Oh, are you okay? Sorry, that seemed belated, but I... I'm a little squirrely myself around the brain. Ugh, uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, I fight. Good. Good. Ooh, alright. You don't look fine. Or you don't seem fine. Yeah, the bastard had the gall to say to my face that the age of man was over and the age of the Altmer was upon us or some stupid shit like that. <laughs> uh, wow. The language came out. Yeah, sorry. Eh, no, I understand. The Thalmor are bastards. I don't think I've ever met one that I liked. Yeah. Not that I've met many, or any. Anyway. Yeah, it's gonna be another sleepless night. But, uh... Did they make it out of the cave? Oh, I... I, uh, stayed behind to make sure. Okay, good. Let's head for Helgen and... I'll tell you what happened. In more detail. It gods. Uh, can I? Oh, you are caught up. Sorry. Just worried. I, I am too. You seem a little shaken by the whole thing. Eh, I've had some bad experiences with Thalmor. Specifically, I'm trying to decide if I... If I'm gonna come with you or if I'm gonna... If I should set this one out. Because I'm gonna get emotional. I know I am. But I know I've got a big heavy sword and whatnot. And can probably do a lot of damage. But... I don't know. I'd feel bad if I sat it out and something happened to Val. Yeah, that's understandable. I wouldn't hold it against you if you did. Hey, I'll think about it. That is a bright blue sky. It's good to see, but... Eesh. Look at him go. Okay. While I'm here... 
Might as well put this away before I forget. All of the... Oh, good. Good. Yeah, they are. Alright. Oh. <laughs> Install railings. Please, for the love of kind. This place will mark Arth both. Uh... I'll do. A reminder that... Yeah. Murderers aren't so different from each other. I don't like it. But he's right. Eh. Oof. Sorry, the lack of sleep is catching up to me. But, uh, let's go find Gran, eh? Were you sitting out here thinking? Mmm, I might have been. Cause, like, you know... Oh, good to see you back. You look a little... tired? And shaken. Yeah, um, we've got to go talk to Val, and I'll probably explain to you at the same time as I'm explaining to him. Alright, lead on. Did you get hurt or anything? Uh, we had an interesting run-in, or I had an interesting run-in. I don't like the sound of that. As well, you probably should. Mm, what in oblivion is going on here? Uh, hi, Val. So I'd ask what's going on with Falco, but uh, it looks like you already know. If you didn't, Marcus got captured by Arendelle's men. He's at the prison. Is that what happened? Yeah. How do you know this? Um... Because Arendil paralyzed me, took me captive, and told me his plan. Because apparently, the Thalmor's hubris... is unparalleled. The way you said that. God damn it, this is what I was afraid of. Wait right there. Falco, do you have anything you want to say about this? Valerius, I... I don't know anything about any of this. I swear to the gods. You and I are the only ones who knew Marcus was going to Riverwood. I made sure of that. You are a traitor and a liar. You didn't have anything to do with this. Then how was Marcus captured? How did they know what my friend here was up to? How did they know where Korst was hiding before? It's all very convenient, is it not? I... I don't know, Valerius. I... I swear I don't know anything you're talking about. Liar! Except for rescuing Korst, Arendil has known what we were doing at every turn. You didn't have time to warn anyone about that, now did you? I saw you, Falco, two yeah. nights ago when you thought I was asleep. I followed you and saw the messenger you met with. I should kill you right now. How could you betray me like this? How could you betray Marcus and all your brothers? Valerius, I'm sorry. They... They said they have my sister and her children. They're so young. They're all I have left. They said they would kill them if I didn't tell them what they wanted to know. I didn't want to, but I had no choice. Falco, you're a fool. Your sister and her children are already dead, or slaves by now. You will never see them again. That much is certain. We don't have time for this. Korst, lock them in a cell downstairs. I'll deal with them later. Yes, sir. Fill me in on what you know. Uh... Yeah, sorry. I get a little... When people start yelling. Uh... What did he say? Ah, the lack of sleep is getting to you, isn't it? 
Well, yeah, that too. But... Right. You and I, and... I, I... Probably alone. Is probably what he meant. But we've got to go to the prison. If we want Marcus to live. Then it has come to this at last. Perhaps today is a good day to die. I'm ready to go when you are. I don't... Bleh. There's gotta be another way out of this. No, you're right. What are you talking about? No, I know that look in your eye. All right, let's go. Are you, you serious right now? Well, yeah. Hopefully no one has to die, but... I can save... one more life this way. I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but... It... This is between him and Arendil. And I don't think it's my place to get involved. You're the Dragonborn! It- you- th that is sort of your thing, is it not? Getting involved. I'll come with you. Thanks, Yarnvita. And... I think I'll stay behind. Cause... Well, I don't want to see any of you get hurt. Particularly not you, Gran. I... I know what... Uh... I remember the conversation that you and Korst had about Erendil, and I don't want to be there if it comes up again. Got it. You stay here. Hold down the fort. I'm pretty sure I'll make it back in one piece, but... Eh, I'm pretty sure Gran and your Grand and I will make it back in one piece. Hopefully Val and Marcus do too. Hey. We'll make her watch over you. And also him. And also Marcus. And also you, Gran. Alright. Shall we? I kinda hate it, but yes we shall. Right, and I can't remember where the prison was. Uh, I kind of do. It was up by the Pale Pass. Oh yeah. You are correct. Should we take Sienna with us? Nah, I'd rather not get more people involved than is necessary. Which sounds counterintuitive because it is the Thalmor we're dealing with here and they don't play nice, but... If I'm gonna be a murderer, I'd rather not catch people in the crossfire. Where did that come from? Where do you think? Oh, Arendil? The very same. That's the one. I'm gonna go around that fort. Yeah, I'll go around the fort. It's a good day. I'd rather it not be a good day to die. What are you listening to? The birds. Oh, ooh. I must be getting old, because I can't hear him. <laughs> well, 
Well, I'm gonna take it as a reassurance from Kine that I'm at least not going to die. And hopefully you won't either. But... Who knows? Hey. Everyone has their day. You never know when it's going to come. All you can really do is try to meet it with some grace. That's morbid. Aye, but it's true. Have you ever lost someone close? Not this lifetime. My older brother died before I was born, so... Oh. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, obviously I never got to know him, so... And you lost your sons. Hi. So... Rest assured, if today is also my day, then the Allmaker has someone to reunite me with. That was ominous. Alright. I feel like... No, that's Serpent's Trail, so we're... Real close. That is a comforting thought, though. What? That you've got someone on the other side. I suppose it is. And so does Val. It's a good point. All right. God preserve us. Arundel, I came as you wished. Now let Marcus go. Now! Valerius, what do you think you're doing? You can't. It's the only way, Marcus. You must know that by now. It has to end here and now. So, we finally meet at last after all these years. Unfortunately, I'm sorry to say you fall well short of the legends that precede you. <laughs> Keepers of heart too, indeed. I said, let Marcus go! All in due time, Imperial. You know, I still remember the look on your son's face from all those years ago. It is the look of fear and death, and it's the same look on your face right now. I remember my men saying he squealed like a little girl when they beat him, and that your wife and young daughter both... Working on it. Any more? Uh, I don't know. Here one. Uh, 
Okay, that doesn't go anywhere. Huh? You'd think I'd remember the layout of this prison having been here once before, but... doesn't do much against a, uh, halberd. No, it doesn't. I hope Val is okay. He got one spell off, I think. I don't know. You kind of got him by surprise. Guess we'll find out. Uh... Oh no. <sighs> what has Arendelle done to him? I have no idea. I have one idea. Some kind of paralysis spell. This is far, far worse than any paralysis spell I've ever seen. I... I think it's draining the life out of him. He used one on me. But you're right. I mean, I've never been paralyzed before, but... That's some serious spell right there. We have to see if we can help him. Val, can you I'm hear a me? healer. Sort of. Yes, old friend. Barely. Oh, God. Be with you, old friend. I'm glad you're here. Is it working? I'm going to find a way to get you out of here. Hang on, Valerius. No, old friend. My journey has come to an end. <coughs> Please, let me go, Marcus. Val, I... Sabrina. Children. I see my wife and my children. Yes, old friend. Go to them. Go be with your family. Oh, oh my. <gasps> Valerius, he's gone. Oh, Dallas, no! Yes, Korst, it's finished. But what are you doing here? I'm sorry, Marcus. We just couldn't let him come here to die like this. But it appears we are too late. Yes, Korst, I understand. You men, stand at ease for a moment. You alright? I've watched a lot of people die. And that's the first time I've ever seen a friend die. So, um... No, I don't think I'm alright. Uh... Hey, take your time, it's okay. He's... Yeah, it's, it's hard, I know. And there's not really anything I can say to make it better at the moment, but... It does get easier. Or at least, less frequent. <laughs> we should have brought more good. Eh. I don't think she could have stopped this. One more hand. I don't know. It was just his day, I guess. I wish I was a better healer, I could have helped him. Right. I'm sorry, but these men and I would like some time alone, if you don't mind. Uh, we'll yeah, bring his body back to Helgen, and prepare for a service tomorrow. 
Please, join us in honoring our friend. Yeah. I'm gonna need some time, like... I think. I'll see you tomorrow. We will wait to begin the service until you arrive. Go easy, my friend. Yeah, you too. I hate how easily I fall apart like this. All of you are so stoic, and here I am, a mess. Everyone processes it in their own way. Come on, let's give them some time, huh? Yeah. Would you look at that red sky? Well, it's more pink and orange than red, but... Yeah. It's kind of like Kyn herself is morning. Eh, it's probably because it's almost morning. What? Some people deal with grief by way of humor. My husband did. My, I suppose, ex-husband? I never really understood it until... later. I'd try that, but I don't feel very humorful right now. That's understandable. You think Mordgood got any sleep? No. <laughs> well, maybe. Hopefully she's not up waiting for us or something. Uh, I think she did. Hey, more good. Oh, you're back. Oh. Uh. You're back. And Val's not with you. And neither is Marcus. And you look like you've been crying. Yeah, a little. Val's dead. Oh. Oh no. What happened? You know that paralysis spell that Arendelle used on me? Hey. Well, I don't know if it's because I'm dragonborn, or a red guard, or what, but... I lived. Val didn't. Oh. I see. I'm so sorry. I mean, he was sort of my friend too, but you spent a lot more time around him than either of us did. I don't know if that's the case, or if I just fall apart... easily. Eh, there's nothing wrong with that, I don't think. It just... It's normal, I think. Really? Hey! Oh, right. Your parents. Yeah. My parents. No one could have a bad day in the house, except for my father. Oh, that sounds... I'm gonna go get some sleep. You want us to, uh, keep watch or something? I'm not sure I could stop either of you if you wanted to, so... If you want to. Was that Johto's dog? Hey! Hey! 
Hi, puppy. Hi. How's it going, Bisha? You're a good dog, huh? You're really not okay, are you? Uh, no. Not really. Yeah, you're a good dog, aren't you? Where's Johto? Where's your cat? <laughs> eh, he doesn't know. Not a thought in his brain. <laughs> eh, dogs are like that sometimes. Speak for yourself. You're cleaning? What? They left a whole bunch of stuff in this place. I suppose so. How are you feeling? Oh, you know. Feeling like I bawled my eyes out and slept for like... 10 hours? Yeah, that sounds about right. You actually... Eh, uh, I'm experimenting. I'm not much of a cook. <laughs> Come on, let's go see if they've got the service set up and whatnot. I don't know what kind of service... I don't know, I've, I've never really been to a... Funeral before. Or a wedding. Hmm. Oh. So, yes, and also it's raining. They all know I'm Dragonborn. Hi. Let's make it a little easier to light that thing, huh? No! I see you set fire up. And we're all here. Yes, thank you for coming. Please, join the others. I'd like to say a few words. I know this must be as difficult for each of you as it is for me. More so, even. You were his trusted friends, and his inner circle. Of our friend, I can assure each of you this. He told me that he was truly happy again, for the first time in many, many years. I don't presume to have words that might assuage the grief that you must feel. You will each have to find your own solace in whatever manner suits each of you best. But if this were a proper military funeral, we would most likely have a musician playing a funeral song. Many of these old songs came from ancient battlefields and were played at the end of a long day of fighting. They were lullabies, meant to signify that all was well and that it was peaceful and safe to rest for the night. Well, Valerius, old friend, you will not soon be forgotten. You are safe now. 
you may finally be at peace and rest. For our friend, we we, we, we. for his memory, we, we rejoice. rejoice. For this warrior, we, we salute. salute. For ourselves, we, we say, say goodbye. 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 Behold, behold, the light of man, the blinding dawn, the bloody hand, who fought until the bitter end. Beware, beware, the light of man. That was beautiful. Thanks, I don't know any lullabies actually, but that's the closest I can think of. like part warning and part celebration of the spirit of all people really and or else gonna be all right Eventually. Probably, yeah. I think I'm gonna cry again first, though. Hey, that's okay. If you need a shoulder, I've got two. Gran's got two, although the heavy armor might get a little bit uncomfortable. I've got a spiked shoulder pl shoulder plate. I know a thing or two about uncomfortable shoulder armor. All right. Well, you're not all right, but you will be, and things will be fine. Erendil's dead, right? Oh, yeah. Erendil's super dead. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, we're good. Thanks for, uh, just being here and, uh, <laughs> being a light in the dark. Hey, anytime. I guess I've got this big glowing sword for a reason. <laughs> Besides gotten people. I nearly died here, in this very spot. I nearly got my head cut off by Imperials. <laughs> and here we are celebrating the life of a very troubled Imperial. A dragon swooped in to save my life, and unfortunately no dragon could swoop in to save his, even though I tried. Hey. But, think of how many lives you saved in the meantime, and how many he did. I've been sort of, kind of, ish. Reading the uh, Keepers of Hatu Mither, uh, whatever it's called, the title of this stupid thing. And, uh, hey, he's got a bit of legend behind him. Maybe he'll go down in history as kind of a, uh, I don't know, folk hero or something. Particularly back in Hammerfell. Yeah. 
I heard about the Keepers of Hatu growing up. I didn't really think anything of them though because I was young and stupid, but I mean, to be fair, I'm still young and stupid sometimes. And sheltered. And spacey. Hey, but that's what sort of makes you you. Besides the whole eating dragons for lunch and uh, <laughs> having a big old voice thing. And the kind thing. I appreciate the snow. Uh, I hate to be a wet blanket on this whole thing, but I think Marcus wanted to talk to you. Right. Where did he go? I think he went back into the keep. I'll admit, I wasn't paying much attention either. I would not be surprised if he'd gone to sleep, but it looks like he hasn't. Hey, one of these days will come in the right entrance for any of us. Today is not that day. Hey, Marcus. I'm so sorry. Um... Right, you weren't there for Falco. Did any of the others tell you? Did Korst tell you, or...? Yes, yes I have. Please, come with me. Korst is meeting us downstairs. Let's get this over with as quickly as we can. Oh. Oh? Yeah. Never thought I'd be called upon to punish a criminal. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm going to leave that decision to you, Dragonborn. I've got no input. Well, Falco, you succeeded in getting Valerius killed. I hope you're happy. Marcus, I'm so sorry. They... I had my sister, and told me they would kill her, and her children. They're all the family I have left, please. Marcus. Falco, did you really think you could negotiate with those maggots? Did you really think you could trust them? You are a fool. But gods, what am I going to do with you? He is a traitor, and should die a traitor's death. You're probably right, Korst, but I... I don't know. What do you think about all this? I'm concerned that Valerius' death may cloud my judgment. I don't want to make the wrong decision. <laughs> you think his death won't cloud my judgment? I mean, yeah, I'm angry, but I'm not angry at Falco. I'm angry at the stupid Thalmor. Nah, uh, we've... We've killed enough people. One more death won't make anything right. Death in general won't make anything right, I don't think. Maybe. I mean, I don't regret killing Arendil. But... There's been enough death today, and for the last however many months this the war went on however many years. The Great War, but before that. There's... there's been enough death. I say just banish him. We're all angry. If he shows his face again here... He's probably going to be, you know, not in a good way. And I know Korst isn't going to be happy with me, but Korst is never happy with me. 
So, that's my choice. Banish him. Yes, perhaps you're right. Course, release him. Falco, you will not die this day. Not by my hand. But if I ever see you again, I'll kill you myself. Now go to whatever fate the gods may have waiting for you. Oh, gods. Thank you, Marcus. But... What have I done? I'll never be able to live with myself for this. Oh, gods, what have I done? Valerius is dead because of me. Oh, gods, no! It is finished. We did what had to be done, Korst. You're dismissed. Yes, sir. This whole thing with Falco has been a mess. And we've paid for it with our dearest blood. But were it not for you, we'd probably all be dead now. We owe you our lives. Seems all I do lately is keep thanking you for your help. Killing him wouldn't change anything. I... It was the right thing to do, if you ask me, but... Don't ask me, I've got the skull sense of... Justice. I believe now that we can finally put all these things behind us, and live in peace. I hope so. In brighter news, is there anything new with the town? Yes, well, as you can see, the construction continues to move along nicely. Patsy will run the inn for now, at least until we can find a proper innkeeper. And Sienna and Balfring have both decided they no longer want to live a soldier's life, and wish to retire. As you probably already know, Balfring is a skilled blacksmith, and Sienna is becoming quite skilled in her armoring craft. They both want to work together and open a shop, and who am I to stand in their way? It should be open for business soon if you need anything. There's also one of the workers, the Argonian woman, who wants to open an alchemy shop once the construction's finished. As far as I'm concerned, she's earned it, and any town worth its weight needs an alchemy shop. <laughs> That's good to hear. Hi, now you've got someone besides Lydia to help you with your armor. Oh, more good. <laughs> sorry. Just trying to lighten the mood. If Balfring and Sienna are retiring, what about Korst and... The Red Guard? The other Red Guard? Altan? Korst? Oh, he'll never retire. He'll die an old soldier with his boots still on. It's just what he does. But this is a good thing as he's needed to help keep the guards on their toes. Alton, he'll stay on and help Korst, while he continues his studies of the old Redguard ways of the Swordsingers. It's such a shame that art has been lost to the sands of time and history. Maybe he can learn enough to revive the old ways someday. When people lose connection with their heritage, they lose a part of themselves, you know. That weighs heavy on me. Heh heh heh. I'm not going to say anything. What about you? Who, me? Well, I've decided to reach out to a few wholesalers I know and start up the old shop again right here in Helgen. So keep your eyes open for the store to open. I'm sure you'll find some things you can use. Other than that, once the construction's finished, a couple of the workers have said they'd stay on and work around town. You know, just general maintenance and so forth. Uh, we need them, that's for sure. A couple more may even join the town guard. You've done a great job with the town. Hey. But every town needs a leader. I mean, unless, uh... Unless we want to be beholden to Falkreath, which I don't think any of us want. I kind of would have assumed that you'd step into that role, Marcus. No. My leading days are over. I'm ready to settle down and live a quiet, peaceful life. When we're ready, we'll most likely set up a small town council. And then we can each take turns, acting as sort of an executive officer for the week. But none of this would ever have been possible without you. This new town owes its very existence to you. In a way, I suppose. But... I think mostly Valerius gets the, uh... The honor. Yes, Valerius too. I've decided to commemorate the town with a little something special. Oh, it's nothing elaborate, but I thought a little something in remembrance of those who have lost their lives here would be fitting. But that won't be until after the construction's finished. So keep your eyes open out by your private tower for it. 
And with that, my friend, it's been a long couple of days, and I'm sure you have other adventures to seek. Don't be a stranger, friend. And don't forget to stop by the shop sometime. I'm sure all the merchants will give their best prices to you once we're open for business. I'm proud, very proud, to have known you. And I cherish the privilege of calling you a friend. I hope to see you soon. You too, Marcus. Now what? Now? I think you go sleep. And in the morning, I guess we can see if we... Well, if anyone needs help around town, or... If we can help out with the construction any. Hey! Hey. Hey.